What's up, friends? Hello, family. Let's get into this um, rather interesting, uh, crazy timeline shit that is going to alter absolutely everything in, in my industry, for sure. Probably uh, many other people's industries. I've got a laptop down here so I can refer to some notes that I've taken. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who aren't up to scratch, uh, OpenAI have just released uh, their they haven't just released. They've announced to the public that they will be releasing an app called Sora, S-O-R-A, which effectively takes um, several words of a prompt and then creates a video. But to say that is a, a dramatic injustice um, to how good this looks and, and definitely will look. Um, I mean, I'm talking that this is unbelievably good quality. There is a hint of Uncanny Valley, but it's definitely greatly diminished. I have absolutely no doubt that a year from now, you'll be typing in your phone, make me a video where Rob Chapman is sat down and drinking a coffee, and with the exception of my face, because I don't think they're gonna be able to recreate a real person's likeness without you having the IP, you'll have a video that looks Indistingu indistinguishable, indistinguishable. Sorry, it's very early here. Uh, from me, uh, I'm, I'm not being overly dramatic when I say this really is um, a completely new beginning for the video industry um, and industries that incorporate video into the work that they do. Um, because it's, it's dramatic change, like unfathomable. And for the people who are saying, well, you know, when um, this was the same kind of vibe when Photoshop launched and, you know, people are overreacting. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Not even slightly. Uh, you know, you've got to learn a lot of skills to operate Photoshop. People that can use Photoshop to a high degree are highly sought after individuals. This is a text prompt tool. So the skill here is in making a great prompt, but then you've got chat GPT to give you, to help you re refine a prompt. The, the secret there, of course, is, hey, chat GPT, I wanna write a script for whatever. Ask me as many questions as you need to funnel down to a really optimal script that is peak performance and search engine optimized for American males between the ages of 20 and 60 who are interested in this and maybe have a crossover in, you know, whatever. And then it will interview you, give you the prompt, you feed it into Sora, <clears throat> which I'm sure will be integrated, um, just like Dali or whatever is. And then you're going to have videos everywhere and you won't know. You just won't know, <clears throat> pardon me, if it's real or not. I'm Rob Chapman, and this is, um, where are we, 16th of February, 2024. I'm an organic human being made of flesh and blood still, I think. Although modern physics is telling me occasionally that maybe that's not the question, the point, I don't know. Um, but I'm a, I'm a real person. You're not going to know if I am a year from now, I don't think. I really don't think you will. And I'm not trying to exaggerate for the sake of a, a, a big dramatic video I've done big videos, and uh, this is more of a warning. Warning? I don't know. I don't know if it's a warning. I think this is more of a, we better sit up and pay attention. <laughs> we really do. So I've got a few points that I've written down. Um, I saw this on Misha Mansur's Instagram post, by the way, headed straight to OpenAI. I use ChatGPT all the time, and I use it for... Um, a whole manner of different things. Can I have a recipe for this? Um, a lot of it's cooking, actually. How, how would I best cook this? Um, which foods are, contain particular vitamin structures or whatever? And a lot of it is to do with, um, you know, which countries are really into this kind of music and where would it be a good idea to sell this kind of guitar? And I want to make a video that talks about this topic. Give me some ideas. And it's been unbelievably helpful it really has does this cross the line <laughs> what do you think so that here are some points that i've written down just top of my head super quick things that that occurred to me 
Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Rob Chapman. I've been making videos for 20 years. I am a guitarist, a singer. Uh, I own a guitar company called Chapman Guitars, and I've been working on YouTube for yeah, 20 years making videos. Um, so I have quite a lot of video experience, not only just you know with a little camera and, and um, YouTube, but also with some some pretty big facilities. Some of which isn't published, some of which is. First question. Does this mean that our likeness becomes intellectual property and is therefore a commodity? Will you find people marketing their likeness um, more often? There, I, I, in my mind, because I'm seeing right into the future, like five years from now, is there going to be an app where you just go, yeah, I'm going to sell my likeness for one month to Coca-Cola and I'll make 20,000 imperial ingots of goodness <laughs> and I'll be allowed to reverse my aging for one year or something like that <clears throat> is our face our likeness going to become a commodity that people try and sell I mean kind of in a way already is um, obviously all jobs in video production they're, they're jeopardized you know VFX uh, the, these industries um, should be shaken, really should be shaken. They're likely to recreate anything, I think, in video within the next six months. Um, the, the growth is exponential. We're on an unbelievable timeline to be watching this. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> um, the, the, like this, I remember when the internet was turned on in my village and my father was one of the first people to have the internet. And we were like, was that it? You know, and there was just nothing there. This is orders of magnitude way above this. I think physical product um, will be AI designed and printed. I'm sure it already is to a vast degree. How will you know if a product that you are holding is, you know, like here's this beautiful faith acoustic guitar, this parlor. Thank you, Alex, for sending me this. It's absolutely stunning. And to me, that this is a, a, an exceptional piece of craftsmanship. And yeah, some of it was CNC by machines. And does that, does that bother me? Not, not in the slightest, because I know a lot of it was hand finished. Does that make it more desirable? I, I think it does on a human level. Does it to you? Because you're not going to know. I don't think, unless product is now labelled to say um, AI designed, but I don't think they're going to do that. So, yeah, there's an uncanny valley still, but it's disappearing. I mean, on the Sora website, you can take a look at it. It's just openai.com forward slash S-O-R-A. Uh, we're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion with the goal of training models that help people solve problems and require real-world interaction. Many physicists will tell you that we're already in that, but who knows? They have some example videos. I mean, it is so far beyond. I'm going to put some here. <laughs> it is so far beyond what I was expecting um, they would be able to do. I mean... You can tell. No, uh, you can't tell with this one. I'm looking at the, the prompt of the waves crashing against the rugged cliff, cliffs at Bixer. I don't think I'd know. If I just looked at it, I wouldn't know. Um, there's a Pixar kind of vibe. Uh, oh, my God. I mean, there's a close-up of a, of a pigeon. It's just a pigeon. <laughs> the one that got me was the photorealistic close-up of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. And what, what I thought was so brilliant about that, other than the sort of Terry Gilliam, um, Python-esque vibe, um, is that that's a guy or, or a girl uh, who's gone, oh, what if I could just see that? And then they've just had it within seconds. That's going to be incredibly liberating for people who work in video and want to see something straight away to maybe um, prototype a scene and then film it in real life. Or, or will they? They're not going to do that. They're just going to make it in, in AI. Um, 
So what's going to happen to the millions of people that work in, in video? Are they just... So you, this immediately divides us into two camps, doesn't it? Maybe three camps. There's camp one, which is can't stop it. It already exists. It's not going to go anywhere. So we've got to go with it. We embrace it. We find new opportunities through it. Um, and we work with it. And then that, that's just the new... That's us. And then there's the other timeline that says, nah, I want organic, farm-fed, you know, <laughs> real flesh and blood people on on my camera. Which you think about, it's kind of funny. <laughs> on my digital camera turned into 24 FPS. Um, and you know, I want to know that they're real. And I think this side will generate a return to a, a yearning for lo-fi, grunge, um, a sense of realness through it being gritty. And I had this phrase I always used to use with Lee at the, at the beginning of Anderton's, which was, the shitter, the better. Because I think people, um, when you are ultimately trying to sell a product, don't like it when you're like, hi, I'm Rob Chapman today. I'd like to show you the new whatever the hell it is. They'd prefer you just to be a real person and be real with them. And I think you know when somebody's being real and just having fun and there's a product involved and then you decide to buy it if you want to or you don't if you don't want to. So there's the two camps. And then there's the camp in the middle that will fight the whole thing. And I don't think that's going to go well. Um, so yeah, just to, to sum it up, I saw this comment, lots of comments saying, well, it's just like Photoshop. Um, it's not going to have an effect. It doesn't look that good, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're wrong. You're 100% wrong. It's, <clears throat> it's already very good. I'm sure the examples on the OpenAI Sora site are, you know, refined. They probably worked on them. They probably use lots of prompts to get a really good one because I do that when I'm creating stupid thumbnails for fun um, to appease our AI overlords. I'll ask for maybe eight, ten thumbnails and then one of them will be really good and that's the one I use. And I'm sure that's what they've done. But this is like, this is the abacus. And unfortunately, what's happening is our timeline is being condensed exponentially so that we're going from Abacus to Google. But like that, it's going to be a big change. Anyway, I'm Rob Chapman. Please let me know what we should do <laughs> in the comment section below. If you're real, are you real? I don't even know. Chappers out. AI!